Get out of my face. If you want to gawk at something, take it to the Astral Lounge. You don't need to wear your helmet in here. You know that, right? Fresh Fisheries, the pride of Nia. You've come to the right place. Xenofresh is always on the lookout for new faces to add to our family. The application kiosk is over there, but feel free to ask me any questions. Thank you for visiting Xenofresh Fisheries. Keep it moving. Riley... Oh, God. Is that Cherny Sheetsky? Cherry? I'm so sorry. Miss Gurov would like to interview for the position. She's in the underbelly on the factory floor. She'll be expecting you. Have a nice day! I think I got them. What do you call them? You can horns? Find my God yeah, I got horns. Applicant, right? Riley? Huh, really? You, a doctor? Either you're grossly overqualified or a goddamn liar. That's not what's important, though. You know remedial chemistry and seem to be living and breathing. You're goddamn hired. By all means, go ahead and talk me out of it. Ah! Good. Good. Take this and put it on. Time to get to work. I 
I'm no user, but I swear, working near Aurora. <laughs> Can't believe another worker got hurt on the Chasm Bass line. I've been working at Xeno for years, and I've only seen Bayou visit the factory once. Guess what I'm not having for dinner. a damn clean suit every minute you're on the job. It's for your safety. I can't have any more of you dropping dead because you can't follow simple directions. Clear? So, here is the facility. Don't go anywhere. You work the assembly line, you make what's asked, and you get paid and go back to whatever crate hole you come from. Don't ask questions. Do only what's asked. Remember, you are just one tiny cog in the Xenofresh machine. Don't fraternize, except on a break. Here we go, the assembly line. Job simple. The hopper will spit out ingredients. The computer tells you what to make, you take the ingredients from the hopper. We know to the milligram what's needed. So take what's required. No more, no less. Then it comes out of your pay. You think so, right? The other thing is speed. We got a quota. As soon as the screen spits out a compound, the timer starts. So use the station to craft the compound, then put it in the other hopper. You beat the time and you maybe make employee of the month, get a bonus, maybe get promoted one day so you can have your own little crate rats. You take too long? Don't take too long. Questions? Pay attention, work smart and fast. We understand each other, right? You get one run through with training wheels, no time limit to learn the system. After that, the clock is ticking. Finish your shift, do well, and maybe you come back. You could go to the break room before you leave. Program commencing, create one batch. No time limit. What I wouldn't give for just one solid week of sun. Shine. <sighs> Craft one batch. One minute starting now. me enough to stick my hands in fish guts all day. Craft one 
Getting paid to work in a drug. Assembly complete. Crap, one batch. One minute starting now. Faces are always coming through here. Can this wait? I need to wash the fish smell out of these clothes. Yuck. You didn't hear it from. Ugh. If I have to eat one more tube of troll for lunch, I'm going to puke. <laughs> Welcome to the line. Hope you like your every move being recorded and digitized for silicon posterity. Yeah, we gotta stick together. Speaking of security, oh no, an outage? Fortunately for us, the damn things are broken like 98% of the time. You happen to know Nesher? Poor guy got picked up by security. Bingo. The fact I'm still free means Nesher didn't rat me out to security. I knew whoever he was working for would send a replacement. Are we back in business? You don't need to tell me that. I'll give you the cords to the merchandise. It's up to you to get it and do whatever you do. If you need more, you know, work a shift and meet me here in the break room. And I'll give you the new drop cords. Pleasure doing business with you. Valentina needs to cut us a break. Pain in the butt. James Newell better watch his back. He's causing problems. No percentage in causing problems in Neon. To move some merch. This is the place. Thanks for helping me clean up sticks. I've got more than you can handle. Sticks, how's this month looking? I'm sorry, I did not understand you clearly. Fuck away! 
No one... Wait. The boss is expecting you. Go in. And now all the interested parties have convened. Yannick, Yannick, Yannick. Did you think you could use Aurora in my city without me knowing? Another bloodbath in Ebside isn't good for the tourists. Still, sometimes blood's gotta flow. And you, you must be what passes for the brain in this operation. What's the percentage in letting either of you leave here alive? Oh, ooh. your friend even thinks maybe I should do Neon a favor. Why shouldn't I? Your lounge has the upscale market covered, Mr. Bayou. But there are so many credits lying on the table, begging to be taken. Go on. We use just a smidgen of Aurora to make blend, and blend is priced for everyone. <laughs> Please, tell him. Yes, tell me. Noted. Hmm. So, you've got an emerging market cornered. Yannick, I'd almost think you're a businessman. Almost. Yannick has just started. The credits are rolling in. Wait. Did you just call yourself Yannick? For real? Uh, I... I... Muzzle it. Here's the deal. You get to keep smuggling Aurora out of the fishery. You make your blend and sell whatever extra Aurora you want on the streets. But I'm taking 20% of the profit for having to deal with your bullshit. We're done. Yannick, get busy making me my money. You look like you could use a trick. <laughs> we all could. Oh, Yannick's heart. <sighs> Stop beating so very fast. Ah, Mr. Bayou. Formidable, huh? Are, are you okay? I hope we're still sympathetical. Yes? Oh, you are capable, is all. Maybe good company. Bah. Our profits go down, yes, but we don't have to worry about being caught anymore. So, Business as usual, yes? You do a shift at Xenofresh, and your contact tells you where to pick up Aurora. You go there, make an easy and very safe pickup, and deliver it to me. No time pressure, any time you want. Take a break if you like. You are the best thing that ever happened to Yannick. Well, maybe my first one. Ah, who am I kidding? It's you. Time for work then. Um, it was Riley. Yes, 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 Riley.
half shift. Time to swing by Legrand's and get blinded. Crap, one batch. One minute starting now. Talk now, or I'm gonna be late from my shift. Those damn cousin. Hey, Riley. Oh no, new coordinates. I am so clumsy. Never mind. I'm up for doing this again. Bye. Be cleaning fish than running with the street yet. You good? Just another lousy day. Ah, oh, wonderful! Super A plus, partner. We keep up like this, and we will both be living very large. Uh, Yannick could always use more. Our clients are so eager, huh? <laughs> hey there. Yeah. I gotta tell you, man. Hey there. Blend is the best. Come on. It's a bad place for tourists these days. Oh, there he's coming down. I know. Sauvages. Nice. Look, I ain't gonna stand around here all day, right? You want the stuff or not? I'm still interested, but you're asking almost double the going rate. What? You think this stuff falls from the sky? Look, I've bought Aurora on the street before, and I've never paid this much. Still cheaper than buying it at the Astro Lounge. Now, this is the last time I'm gonna ask. Then I'm walking away. Do you want this stuff or not? Fine, fine. I'll transfer the credits and you can leave it in the usual place. I don't know what you think you heard, but maybe you should get your hearing checked. 
I wasn't doing anything. You didn't see anything. Catch my drift. Okay. Hello. Yes? What are you looking at? This? This is Ebside Striker's turf. Only the upstairs. Don't bother my customers. Fine, upstairs. That's gang territory, got it? This is such bullshit. Yeah, you used to be people were afraid of the strikers. We had a name, got it? Now the disciples got us penned up in this lousy bar. Andrea. Fine, fine, fine. This beautiful establishment. Do you have anything else, or are we done with this? Whatever this is. We were one of the big dogs. We could take what we wanted and no one gave us shit. And Briggs? Total class act. Not a psycho like the Disciples. Now look at us. I mean, the Strikers will rob you blind, and if you back us in a corner, you're gonna bleed. But the Disciples? <laughs> Total nutjob animals. They torture people for kicks. And the only people that kept them from getting out of control? Us. And now we're all but ruined. So you stroll in here and want to meet with Briggs? The nerve. Maybe you should meet with the business end of my shiv, huh, tourist? No blood in my shop, Andrea. I am this close to tossing the lot of you out on the street. Fine, fine already. You're lucky. Only way you see Briggs is if you, uh, <laughs> want to join the Ebside Strikers. You know, I'll just do that. Right now. <sighs> this ought to be good. Sure, let's go meet the boss. Hey, get away from me. Hey, get away from me. I wasn't doing anything. Take it easy. people around here anymore strong you shouldn't be doing that anyhow right? you want to join us we're a gang you understand that right not some daring adventure bullshit you can brag to your friends about we steal we mug we kill if we have to people that come to us have usually run out of options so are you really interested There was a time when we were the only ones that kept those psychos in line, but I'll get to that. Let me tell you about us. What makes the Strikers different is we're family. It's us against every goddamn thing the world can throw at us. If you're in, we'll go through hell and back for you. It's been a little too much of that hell going round. Vogel, not the time. We do everything we can to make sure everyone's got a roof overhead and fish in their belly. I prefer we fleece the marks, not kill them. Better for everyone in the long run. But you do what you gotta do. Ebside is where all the loser and sad stories end up once Neon and Administrator Bayou has used them up. Surviving here ain't easy. Sometimes blood's got to flow just to get food based on your plate. But we only take what we have to. Not so fast. I gotta get to know you first. What would you bring to the Strikers? We get into our fair share of conflict. 
But having someone skilled in violence right now? Very useful. Done anything special? Something that might impress us. Right. So you're one of those stargazers. <laughs> sure, they visit here all the time. I'm not sure what your game is, but if you really want to join, there's a test. You're going up against the Disciples. Everyone in Ebside's been chewed up and ground up by Neon. Some people snap, and snap hard. The Disciples are maniacs, pure and simple. The test is to find out who has been arming those nutjobs with military-grade hardware. We're fully in alignment there. There's a warehouse they use. One of our friends said there's a slate there that has the info we need. Oh, that's my job. I was going to go in and make them pay. You want it? Too bad, Vogel. You go in there, and it's a bloodbath. I want someone that can snatch it from them. Ideally with them never even knowing it happened. Consider this your audition. Try not to get killed, new fish. If you hurt any of the strikers, I will break you. Pull up a jail and have a dream. Hey, I'm busy. You want the good stuff? Try somewhere else. What? 